Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to use the new Seacam K2 Pro pre-production unit at KC. The first thing after you're taking the camera out is cleaning up the lenses. Make sure not a single dust on the lens surface, otherwise it may have impact to your footages. And you may want to set the aperture to the same value on both sides. In this case, I set to f4. Now it's time to have some control for this synchronization. Usually we are taking the right eyes as a master and the left eye as a slave. So I put the micro switch on the right camera to the M position and the left camera to the S position. Once the micro switch was set, we can connect the sync cable. And this version, we are using the cable from Alvin's cable. We are putting the primary end to the master camera and the secondary end to the slave unit. And it's done. Time for power. This camera is using a Sony type battery. If you're mounting on a gimbal, make sure you are having some slim one. Okay, this is good to go. Uh, because this is a pre-production unit, we have to power it up by holding the two power buttons at the same time. As you may see at the top of the unit, there is a small tiny screen for the right camera and as well as some control buttons here. But this is missing on the left side. So we are setting the uh, video mode, uh, the frame rate and the codec uh, do individually for both camera. When it's ready on the right side, we are controlling the left one. For the left camera, which do not have the control buttons, we are doing it by a USB cable and your smartphone. I'm using an iPhone, so I'm using the Type-C and the Lightning connector. When it's, co it is connected, you can just hit on the, left, on the app and you can have lots of controls. Uh, set the resolution to the same to the same as the master camera, as well as the um, frame rate, video codec, etc. Make sure you are enabling the multi-camera uh, coordinated mode, which make and which is enabling the uh, master camera and using the coordinated exposure for the both camera as well as the coordinated white balance so you can have more coherent colors on both sides. You may also see the blinking light on the camera. They are not blinking in a fully synchronized fashion. This is totally okay because the video will be in sync no matter how the lights they are blinking. So once you have your CFAST cast installed or you are mounting, through, mounting your SSD through the USB port, you are ready to shoot. Just press shutter on the top of your master camera and your footage will be okay. So, thanks for watching and we will have some more tutorial coming up very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.